are you constantly typing Maine Coon characteristics into Google, hoping your own kitty fits the bill? Don't worry. We won't judge you for your online obsession or your obsession with your feline friend. In fact, we're here to help. Get ready to find out everything you need to know about whether your cat is a real Maine Coon or just a fluffy poser. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to take the claws out or put the claws in to a question that everyone has who has gotten a long haired cat off Craigslist, off out of the shelter. And that is, is my cat a real Maine Coon? This is part four of a four part series on the Maine Coon cat. We looked at what a cat is and what all cats have in common. In part two, we looked at what a Maine Coon is anyway. In part three, we looked at how to purchase a Maine Coon kitten without being scammed. Here in part four, we're going to talk about Maine Coon or Maine Con. How to tell if your current long-haired feline friend is an authentic Maine Coon cat. Vets, shelters, and rescue places like to proclaim that every cat that looks to them like a Maine Coon is in fact a Maine Coon or a part Maine Coon. So let's clear up some of those common errors and misconceptions. And the first one is uh, size. So they'll say, your cat is massive. And this is Karis. She is a Maine Coon female, and she is about uh, 14 pounds right now. She is quite long, and she is only three years old. Just because a cat is large does not make them a Maine Coon. Garfield is large. He's not a Maine Coon. He's a little on the fat side. Number two is that they will, and now this is actually because of Animal Planet. Animal Planet did a, a huge disservice to the coon community when they said this. Uh, they said that all Maine Coons will have an M on their forehead. Now, as you see, uh, Karis has a vague marking on her forehead, but nowhere near an M. And she really is a Maine Coon, so there's no uh, denying that. But what that really means is that she's a tabby. She is a brown tabby and white in color. And the M on the forehead uh, delineates that she is a tabby color. Maine Coons come in 75 different colors. Not all Maine Coons have an M on their forehead because not all Maine Coons are tabbies. And just because your cat has an M on its forehead does not make it a Maine Coon. It may make it a tabby, however, but tabby is a color, Maine Coon is a breed, and they are two completely separate things. <laughs> a regular long-haired cat has got a smaller head and smaller ears and a smaller muzzle doesn't make them any less or better of a hunter. It just makes them different. And their coat is all over one length from the very front to the very back. Now you may think that didn't clear up anything for me. I still think my long haired cat is part Maine Coon. First of all, it's very unlikely that a purebred Maine Coon is going to go outside and breed with a long-haired or short-haired cat. Not anybody that I know lets their pedigreed cats outside to uh, 
just randomly breed. Knowing the difference between a real Maine Coon and a long-haired domestic cat is as simple as knowing the difference between a frog and a toad. You can watch part two of our video where we go into depth about what is a Maine Coon cat. Here are a couple common characteristics that make this cat fun. They have a nice square muzzle and a shaggy coat. They love to learn games like fetch. As a matter of fact, they'll pretty much make anything a game, especially if it has to do with water. They love playing in water. They can't get enough of it unless they're gonna take a bath. This is what happens when you film with animals. The second thing that you can do is get a genetic test done. Now, they are, there are, like I said, definite gen genetic markers for the Maine Coon. The Maine Coon as a breed has been along around quite some time and has very specific genetic markers that make it a Maine Coon and you can get a genetic test done. I will link some of the links below, but you can certainly get a couple done and clear up whether your cat is a Maine Coon or a Maine Con. Hey, thank you to my Maine Coon community for helping me with the videos so I can keep doing these videos for fun and for free. Please like and subscribe. See ya.